broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the On February 1st, 1960, four black college freshmen, Joseph McNeil, Franklin McLean, Ezell Blair Jr., and David Richmond, sat down at a whites-only Woolworths lunch counter in Greensboro, North Carolina, and politely asked for service. The white waiter refused and suggests they order at the takeout meal for the stand-up counter, but the students did not budge. While lunch counter sit-ins had taken place before, the four young men from North Carolina A&T University drew national attention to the cause by simply remaining in their seats peacefully and quietly. It was a small victory and one that would build. The Greensboro Four's efforts inspired a sit-in movement that eventually spread to 55 cities in 13 states. Not only were lunch counters across the county integrated one by one, a student movement was galvanized. Thank you.